So th thank you for those uh, remarks, JT. And so uh, we're going to uh, start now with the regulatory uh, challenges and strategies session. Uh, this is a, an additional so panel format. Um, my name is Bob Preddy. I'm the Chief Science Officer at Neostem and the President of PCT, a contract manufacturing organization in the space. Um, we have four panelists here today that will have an opportunity at some point to introduce themselves um, to you. And just wanted to say one word that uh, one panel member that you will be seeing on your, um, on your uh, programs that's not here is Celia Witten, who's the director of the Office of Cells, uh, Genes, and um, uh, Cell Therapy and Gene Therapy at FDA. And she's not here, obviously, because of the government shutdown. So we miss Celia, and uh, hopefully next year we can uh, get her to come back again. She would have been a nice addition to the panel. But I think you'll find that we have an interesting um, uh, set of discussions to start the discussion for you. We would like this to be an um, interactive session. Uh, what we'll do is I'll move the program along by starting some of the segments. We have essentially three segments. We're going to start with definitional, um, letting the panel members define a bit of some of the terms that you'll hear uh, throughout, the, um, throughout this session. We, we hear ATMPs. We hear about 351s and 361s. Most of you are intimately familiar with these terms, but we thought we would set the stage with that. We'll talk a little bit about the different regulatory environments that have developed in Europe and the United States and perhaps the uh, rest of the world, if we can comment on some of those, and also how you may navigate your way through those um, as, you, as we see different regulatory environments and we need to get single products through these different environments. Uh, so if you have an opportunity, if you have a question, if something pops to your mind, please just raise your hand, introduce yourself, and we'll, um, we, we will uh, take the questions but I'll keep moving it along. If we don't see any questions, we'll just keep moving from segment to segment. Okay, thank you. Okay, good morning, guys. So maybe we can start with introductions. Uh, we'll start here with Kathy. So my name is Kathy Sokas. I head the Cell Therapy Global Regulatory Affairs Group at Janssen Research and Development, and I'm also the regulatory chair for the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine. I'm Natalie Mount. I'm the uh, Chief Clinical Officer at the Cell Therapy Catapult. Um, the Cell Therapy Catapult is the UK's Centre for Accelerating Translation um, and Clinical Development of Cell-Based Therapies, um, and I lead the clinical and regulatory activities there. Um, and our particular expertise is in European regulation of therapies uh, and also improving the environment in the UK specifically for development of such therapies. Okay, I'm Ludwig Baumann. I'm the Senior Director of Regulatory Affairs Europe for MedPace, a CRO very involved in the development of regulatory strategies for ATMPs, including cell therapy and combination products. And uh, we developed regulatory strategies and developing regulatory strategies for various kinds of ATMPs and um, also are discussing these plans with the authorities in Europe. I'm Clay Anselm, I'm the president of Regulera. We're a Doman family company, and uh, 25 years I've spent in regulatory affairs and quality assurance. My background really is different than most here. I come uh, primarily from the human tissue side of the business and the medical device side of the business. Um, have uh, participated in bringing some of the currently licensed biologic products um, in the cell area to the market, and um, you know, really my